so here's my default third person project so first thing first we need the animations so I'm using the animations which you guys can get free of cost from marketplace so I'm using the animations from echo and from Lyra so you can get the animations so if I open let me open the launcher and here's the so here's the echoes animation pack you can get from marketplace and also from same as the lyra animation you can get from marketplace so once you get those animations you need to retarget those animations to ue5 default ue5 mannequin so i have already done that so these are my all the animations these are all the animations from echo and so as uh, echoes don't have any a turn place animation so i'm getting the turn place animations from uh, lyra so these are the animations from lyra which is an arm turn in place 90 left 90 right 180 left and 180 right so we have all the animations ready now mm, we need to set up our uh, character class properly so in order to do that i'm gonna open my third person character first of all i'm rem i'll remove the jumping functionality for now and also i'll remove the camera component and screen gun because we will use a separate camera manager class uh, other than the using the default uh, camera from character blueprint so we need to make sure that our use controller rotation yeah should be false and also rotation rate i'll set it to for now set it to zero and orientation to movement to draw okay so our character is characters grouping class is set up now if i hit play you can see there is not any camera available so in order to set up the camera first we need to set up the player controller so i'm gonna create a player grouping class i'm gonna call this bp player controller open it up and i'll open up the game mode and add the bp player controller into our controller class so here's our player controller class i'm gonna add it to our bp player controller now we need to create a player camera manager so I right click group in class and search for player camera manager so here's our player camera manager I'm going to call this pp underscore player camera manager so in order to set the camera location and rotation properly there's a there's a function override which we, we can use so here i'm gonna go to the functions tab and here's the override category i'm gonna update the blueprint update camera so i'll override this function now i need to so now i'll from camera target i'll cast it to my cast to pp third person character our character class all right so now i'm gonna get the actor location and also we need player controller so i'll grab the player controller rotation may get the forward vector and multiply the forward vector 
to let's say minus 210 for now because we'll move we want to move our camera towards back of the character so that we can see our character now we'll combine the result here here we go so this will be our camera location and for camera rotation i'm gonna copy and paste it over here get controller rotation and set it over here so this will be our camera rotation so now we need to set up the field of view so for field of view i'm gonna set it to 85 and return value to true all the time so now if i hit play now all right my camera is not properly updated let me so uh, because in our player controller so here's our player controller we need to define which camera manager to use so here is our pp player camera manager class so in in the details panel of our player controller i'm going to set the camera manager so now if i hit play you can see our camera which is pretty low right now so I'm, i'll fix the camera so i'm gonna move the camera towards a little bit right so in order to do that i'll grab the right vector from our controller rotation multiply the right vector to let's say 45 combine the result from our forward vector and right vector and add it to our this location right so now our camera is towards a little bit right so i'm gonna move i need to move my camera a little bit up so i'll add a new vector parameter over here and add 60 for now there we go now our camera functionality is ready so here is our camera manager so i'll not complicate the camera manager functionality so we'll just leave this functionality over here and we'll move towards the locomotion controller next